Okay, so we're going to be talking about defending the midfield or midfield defense or midfield press, however you'd like to, to call it. Um, but the main idea is during the other team's rucking or the roll, you want to be sending shooters in sort of a structural way. And now, I must stress this is very, well, not very different, but it is different to odds and evens, the old traditional way that this was done. Um, but we still, the aim is to stop the flow. The aim is still the same. So as you can see there, the, the first main difference, now odds and evens, I'll quickly just um, talk about what odds and evens were. Odds and evens was you had six defenders. Oop, need a pen. One, two, three, four, five, six. One would go up, one would stay back, one would go up, one would stay back, one would go up, and you would alternate. So if you were up, the two people next to you were back, and then you would just rotate. So if you're up, they're back. The next one, they're up, you're back. And um, that's the way it would go. But that is really good if teams are doing old school arrows or coming at you at the middle. That will work fine. However, when teams teams have started to adapt the whole sub to the box, sub to the box, sub to the box, the ball is going to go over one side of the field. So there's no point having a defender over here shooting here for no reason. They're going to shoot into thin air. So. Midfield defense these days, we have to do it a little bit more structured. And as you can see, these two players here are two middles coming up, something that odds and evens wouldn't do. Uh, and they they are probably understand that the first touch, nine times out of 10, is getting to the middle of the field. Now, we sort of copy off rugby league there when like a fullback is bringing or a winger is bringing back a kick return. They want to get to the middle of the field because it gives you options to go either way. All right. So they've shot, touch one. Now you can see they're only probably one or two meters past the seven meter line. So they've done a good job on the first touch. Plenty of ground to cover. They throw the ball. This link steps up now, makes the touch, and they earn a penalty. So let's have a look at another example. And we'll just talk about what makes a midfield defense really good. Two middles against shooting. Another shooter. And more shooters. So as you may see on my um, video about learning a basic rucking pattern, you want to be getting up to here on the third touch. Now you can see this team is behind that, that sub box area on the third touch, so they can't actually get some players on the field. And that just comes down to good midfield defense. Now we'll come back to this video what I will say is the defending team do get the ball back in a pretty good position here. Another set of midfield defense. Okay, so you get what's happening here. Let's go back and talk about what makes this really good. Now, the first thing that you will see teams do, so we'll just go to the second clip, is yes, go to the middle of the field. Okay, and then the next touch, they will go one pass over and then a sweeper might come down to the box. So to get the most out of your defense, you're going to have a link on this side of the field that normally would just roll back the whole way. If you can get that link on your box side, so their far side link involved in, in any form of capacity on that roll, it'll just provide a lot of relief for these two middles and the far link as well. So let's watch what happens here. Let's say these two middle shoot on the first touch. And their job is to make sure that a third pass doesn't happen. One, two, and a, and a third pass. So they go as hard as they can. There's the first pass here. Now let's watch this next shooter that comes up here. That's the box side link for the defending team. Now she can shoot and almost go in between the gap whilst this other link shoots as well and create sort of, so she attacks the ball, this one here attacks the ball, and this one here attacks the space between the ball and the box. And they can shoot as well while those two middles are retreating. And that basically just kills the flow of the attacking team, which is what happens in the next video as well. Oh, let's go from here. Now we wanna be using our, this is the box side link. So this is the defending box just here. So you watch what this link does now. We have one, two, three, and the winger will come up. So we have four come up 
uh, on touch one. And the reason we wanna have four up on touch one, we wanna really emphasize about stopping the first touch is because if I was a coach, if I was seeing midfield press, if I could beat the first touch, then I've beaten the whole thing. Because your second touch in midfield defense only works if the first touch works. So if you can beat the first one, you beat the rest of them. So you wanna make sure that that first touch is definitely going to work. So you've sent a winger on the ruck, the two middles are gonna go at the two middles, and the winger is going to be blocking that last pass to this far link here. All right, and if they go over the top, you can just chase the winger, but they'll have no dummy half. What the links are going to do, they're gonna to come together. They come together. So you can see this link here tracking the ball. Now, if they go up the middle, that's fine. The next touch, we got both links shooting, one at the ball and then one at the space between the ball and the box, which is what happens here. So the links come together. Now, this number five here, he only really has to help on one touch. If he can help on one touch, that's gonna to be awesome for the rest of the players. There's the two links going up now. You can see the first link's at the ball, tries to step in. Now, even if he does step in and take a little bit of space here, it's not too bad. This winger can step up and make the touch. And now all of a sudden, they've still got players to sub off the field, but the ball's nowhere near the box. And it's just gonna take a lot of time uh, for them to do that. And it will have to mean that they slow down their play. So it's not the end of the world. And there's the touch. Now we have we might have a middle and a wing or both middles and a wing come up again. But if that touch is strong on the first, so this is touch number four and they're still well off halfway now. And that's five. Let's have another look at it again. This number two here is your box side link. So uh, the defending team's box is on this side of the field. So she'll come up with the middles. And it just means that the middles, oh, there's only two of them up, which is, which is totally fine. It just means that the middles now can shuffle over a little bit. Uh, and help out the far side, which is where the ball's gonna go. So this one was at the ball, this one was cutting off these two players. So if she was going to react on whoever caught the ball. The only vulnerable thing about sending two players, oh no, they did send three, my mistake. But this is one take, so we'll continue to go. So we send three players to cut off that third ball. If this player wasn't up as well, that pass would just allow heaps of meters and you would beat touch one which means you've, you've pretty much beat the whole midfield defense because you're gonna have players stranded well offside. Let's continue watching this one. There's the third pass, it's cut off. And even if the referee wasn't bringing that play back, oh, I've gone back to the start. Even if the referee wasn't bringing the play back, they've still got a lot of um, flow to get back and a lot of um, ground to cover as well. So again, we've got a link working hard, this link is working hard to help out the rest of the team, which it is doing extras for that link there because the, the ball's never, like if they shoot forward, that's where they're, they're, they're gonna go into nothing. So if they can come in and help out, make the first touch or the second touch, they only have to do one of them. I tell my box side links when we're mid making midfield defense, help out on a touch. It's either first or second, you just help out because it means someone over here can relax when you're helping out. So I want you to, when you're thinking about how you're going to do your midfield defense, get your box side link involved somehow. It'll, you, you'll find that it's much easier on the team and it's not too much work. Even if the box side link has to go all the way over the other side of the field, it's just for one touch and there's not gonna be any threat in front of them on the side that they're normally on anyway. So have it a try. Let us know how you go in the comments and um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you next time.